Welcome back to DMC Sports. Today, we're going to talk about funny baseball cards. All right, let's start off with the dream team. Um, Kirby, why aren't you wearing a shirt, bud? Uh, everybody else is wearing a shirt in the dream team set. Well, except for a couple other guys, but those guys are, I don't know, you're a Hall of Famer, I don't know, wherever you want. Uh, this is a throwback to the worst opening day um, first pitch in the history of baseball. Uh, 50 Cent has not played a whole lot of sports. Uh, he's a big dude, but he can't throw. If I can figure it out, I may put a video of that up there, but this is the first pitch of remembering that. And his first pitch was not great. Just a bit outside. What can you say? I think he opened up a little early. Uh, I, I, yeah, he, got that front shoulder. It's good. He never had a choice between uh, playing for the Mets or being a rapper. So, momentous. Now, Oz again. He's a cool dude. But 95 Pinnacle. Then he's like, all right, hey, hey, Oz, we need a, we need a, we need a picture of you. Why don't you tie your shoe, or, or, or show us how you, you stretch and you got those blades on and. Let's just do some stretching. We'll take some pictures. He's like, yeah, that'd be good. That's not good, man. That looks terrible. This is one of the best cards I own. Is, let me tell you something. Back when all Angel Barrera was Rookie of the Year, there was something weird about it. Back in the day, that's a whole bunch of folks from uh, the Dominican and basically Latin America were not really telling the truth about their age. Sometimes their birth certificates were switched with like their sister or a brother or a cousin. So they were older. So when they looked really good and they're like, oh, he's only 21. Well, he's going to be, how good is he going to be when he's 24? Well, I don't know how it really broke down quickly after this rookie year of 17 home runs. I think that's what this rookie year was. So I think it's kind of interesting that this looks like a, an ID, which I don't, I don't think this was that cat's name, or I don't know. I, it just felt wrong the whole time. There's a couple of guys that got caught. Now, uh, Crucky here, Cruck, Cruck doesn't, there's hardly any baseball card that looks good. But Cruck here, he looks confused. He doesn't know what's going on. They picked this picture of Cruck. I don't know what the background was. They cut it out and then did a drop shadow just on a random Phillies looking thing. I mean, it's an okay card if you, you know. But he looks confused and, yeah. I've never seen a card like this from Bob Welch showing his uh, split finger. He was a good pitcher. That was definitely an interesting card. It's Jason Michaels. He's not the first player to have a giant glove. There's several others. You will see some of them coming up, but this time he's in the dugout. That's pretty cool. I love this. It's hilarious. I just, I love that card quite a darn bit. A flying chicken. I had to pick this card up. It's a chicken, and he's flying. That's just a funny card. The chicken is is the famous chicken. Now, Bobo. Bo Jackson. 95 Pinnacle. They've done it again. Why is he in a picture with a jet with no uniform on? I don't get it. I have no idea. Because the Blue Angels? I don't know. That's just terrible. It's just a bad idea, all in all. Uh, this is a great card. This is a guy sitting on the brownie pack, just balls, <laughs> in, in my stadium. Of, uh, uh, that's just so cool. I wonder. Yeah. Anyway, it's in the Royal Stadium. It's a cool card. He's sitting on the ball. It's just a neat little picture. I like it. So it is one of my favorite cards, actually. Uh, Piazza, your hair sucks. Your blade sucks. Those sunglasses are terrible. This is, this is just a, a hammy. Look at that stupid mustache. Yeah, it's just... All right. The dude, Jeff Bridges. Look how happy. It's like He's like, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I, I got a right to the plate. He's so happy. It's a funny card. You can see the, the pure joy on this guy's face. Now, Fernando... Dude. I know it was the 80s, but the headband? Really, Fernando? Come on, get with it, bud. That's that's not cool. All right. As some people know, uh, Larry Jones, uh, not a fan. I will say I'm going to cut him a little bit of a break. I was going to say something really bad about the the outfit. But this is, a, this is a stereotypical 90s outfit. The only thing wrong with it is he's wearing a long sleeve shirt with shorts. 
that's pretty goofy and he's got a hat so he can't figure out if he's he was wearing like this is i don't know it's a terrible picture you know larry larry uh, this is literally so far the ugliest card i've ever seen tops not finest michael fulmer i actually like michael fulmer but this card is ugly look at that thing yeah the back ain't much better but yeah all right, I remember when this happened. Old Tim Lincecum, he's one of my favorites. He's racking, rocking the stash. Rock that stash, man. Rock it. Whatever. That's terrible. Terrible, terrible card. Uh, I don't know what old Billy Wagner was doing. He, was, he wasn't throwing 95 or 96 or 97 in this pick, but I like how he's balancing the ball and it's different. I haven't seen that before, actually. Well, Kevin Hart, he's funny. And he's trying to be funny there. He probably was. I don't know. This is my boy Rizzo. It actually looks pretty good, but I just don't like any cards where they're not in a uniform or have something that says with their team. They just look out of place, very uncomfortable, and he does not look super comfortable. His hands in his pockets. He's got a big smile, but you can't really see it with his little head and his giant body. I don't know. So if anybody knows anything about Dave Stewart, I was a big fan of his. When he was at the uh, athletics. And I don't know why he's got a cowboy hat on. And he's in blue with the Blue Jays. But, yeah. That's that's a pretty funny picture. He's like, hey, what's going on? Yeah. 